Yep, I'm back, and oddly not able to see what you actually said in chat. I can see it in the streaming program. Not in chat. I am confused. I'm also confused by why... I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is both pillar boxed and freaking, uh... Um... Whatever the other thing is. I mean, remember, this is a GameCube game, so the graphics aren't going to be amazing. Not sure... I don't know, it doesn't look that terribly different compared to what I'm seeing on the TV. Oh, chat is blurry? Uh, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say about that. It has been four years since I last played this game on YouTube. You're exactly right, Moon. I'm trying, guys. I really don't want this to be... Get on the new game screen real quick. Trying to see... Yeah, it's still both pillar box. What's doing that? But I might be able to solve it. Let's, uh... We're gonna get to a uh, cutscene, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and start messing with the actual screw. Bear with me while you guys watch the opening cutscene. There we go. Hello, Alfonso. He has finally found her. Okay. So, what I'm trying to figure out First of all, guys, let me know if sound is not good, uh, if game's too loud, or if I'm too loud, or whatever the case may be. What I'm trying to figure out is... So he's trying to fire concussion shells, right? Presumably, the reason he's trying to find uh, fire concussion set shells is he... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, first of all, Twitch, why am I not allowed to see my... Why am I not allowed to see my chat? Let me see my chat. Gator room? No. I have to create a room, right? What 
bizarre. I can't... I had to clear chat real quick. I'm just trying to see. There's some reason on... On my actual, like... Thing here, I can't see chat. I can see it on XSplit. I can't see it on Chrome. I don't understand. They changed something since I was last here. I do not understand. Okay, then. Well, screw it. I can at least see you guys through X-Split, so I'll be looking at that. So, uh, yeah. So, he shoots concussion shots at her, but doesn't... We talk about the, the rooms button? Because it said I should be in stream chat, which is my assumption is that's where you're chatting. I feel like I'm like bad at internet. I don't know. Whatever. I can see you guys through through this. It's fine. I get its response. Yeah, I'm already in stream chats. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just... Sure, we'll let this do its thing. Anyways, so he shoots concussion shots at her. So my thought is that if it's concussion shots, either A, it should work by hitting her and concuss her, or B, you don't shoot at her in the first place. But if you don't shoot it at her in the first place, why is he telling his gunners to not hit her? I don't get it. Shoot the cannons! Blow the shit up! Kaboom! Splish! And somehow our ship's still firing. The thing is, in addition to that, if they somehow knocked her into the undersky, she'd be dead. They'd never get her. So why did they risk shooting at her? Evidently, their ship is faster than hers in the first place. And hers can somehow fly even without being piloted, so what the hell? <laughs> okay. So yeah, it has been uh, four years since I last played. And Skies of Arcadia is absolutely one of my all-time favorite uh, RPGs. Uh, I was trying to decide on, like, an RPG to play, and um, this just kind of won out for the various options. And I figured I would see how much of this am I able to beat, uh, kind of, without looking up. Like, how much am I able to remember... There was her ship going down off the bottom of the screen. Um, how much I am able to remember? How many moonfish can I find without having to look it up? How many chams? How many charms? The uh, aberic charms. But we're gonna see. Hey, look! They're the Valuan Imperial soldiers. Soldiers. You guys have the best stuff. Hey, look! We can see. Okay. I love just how confident Vice is, right? Not just one of them attacking, there's two of them. Okay, so the question is... Um, 
Yeah, how much of I how much can I do from memory without actually having stuff in front of me? So, also, how many discoveries can I do without help? Do I remember where all the bounties are? Um, kind of that sort of thing. I really don't want to grind either. I'm going to try to avoid it, but there are certain things I'm going to want at certain points. So, the first thing I need to know is, do I get Inkrim first spell, or do I get that as the second spell? And then, uh... My face is stuck. Um, the second thing is I really want to see, uh... If I get Sakri first or second. There's the two spells I need right off the bat. If I can get either one of those, we're gonna be good. Uh, we're also gonna see, this is not... There's there's so many ways this could happen that could kind of ruin me. But the other thing we want to see is is there any way for me to beat the game without having uh, a game over? I mean, game overs are not incredibly common in the first place. But uh, there's kind of there's no way for me to sit here and go I'm gonna have no deaths, uh, just because there are so many instant death spells that can be cast against me. Bam. Really want his gun <laughs> we'll take care of these guys we're just gonna fight you guys just walk off <laughs> should we go introduce ourselves to the captain of the ship so uh ivani has pointed out that it's been uh, a while since i streamed um the reason why is that uh i have a new job uh that is the actual reason why uh things have been a little bit different Yeah, th there is actually no punishment in the game for dying. Um, it's just your your character does not get experience for that particular fight. And characters come back with one HP after they go down anyway, so it's not as if there's this tremendous loss. Um, if I remember correctly, I think we get Pyrie first, not Inkram. I'm trying to decide. I, I have to see if I want to grind for Inkram or if I just want to wait. I kind of would rather grind for it, but it takes a little while. Also, for those who uh, want the story, go watch one of the two old Let's Plays I did. <laughs> um, I'm not going to speed through it, but uh, probably also not going to go particularly slow. So, Yugi, it's literally just, I, it's been four years since I last played it, so I want to play it again. I mean, I've already done everything. I have 100% of the game already. Um, I just kind of want to replay the game. Here yeah, there is. There's absolutely no downsides to uh, to dying, other than just not getting the experience from that particular fight. Uh, but yeah, so uh, got a new job, and uh, the new job actually had me. Um, new job had me go to uh, Tampa for three weeks. And had almost no internet or no internet accessibility, so really couldn't do much. Uh, which that's one of the reasons why we've had uh, a lot of monster hunter. Re so I couldn't really record anything else. Yay, level two and Pyrie. Pyrie. Um. Nice, congratulations, Yugi. Hope you have fun. I wish you luck. And Moon, I'm very glad that you that you enjoyed uh, the previous two uh, playthroughs of this. If you have any comments or if you have any questions, please let me know. Part of me is actually curious what a speed run of this game would look like. I've never seen one. I also didn't feel like looking. I, I, it's got to be hours. It really does. Counterattack. I'm kind of thinking that we grind out Sakri, and then I decide where I want to go for Ingram. I mean, Ingramus is late, late game. 
So I don't think we're at, uh, we're not late game, but it's, it's mid game. So we're not going to get increments really soon. Uh, we'll aim for it as fast as possible. <laughs> I believe she gets Sakri first. I think it's Sakri first, then it's Noxus. It's Noxi. Remember that we do need to get as many treasure chests as humanly possible, because that actually is something that matters. Death doesn't, running doesn't, uh, treasure chests do. So I need to make sure I get all of them. That's another uh, kind of important thing when it comes to the by memory thing. If I fail to get all the treasure chests by memory, um, or at least I believe 95% of them, I can't get Sky King Vice, which means we can't fight uh, the Super Secret Final Boss. Yeah. Not a bad way to go. Okay, so that should give me Sakri. Okay, we'll let Vice get Sakri as well, and then we'll switch back to Red. There. I also had to set up my uh, my Wii to be able to uh, actually record this. Good news is all of my major gaming systems actually. Uh, A couple of the, I actually have several of my games that's hooked up all at once, so I don't have to switch back and forth anymore. That's kind of actually what stopped me from doing um, console games for a while, is because uh, it was kind of a pain to set everything up. But I kind of have everything good now. I'm glad you enjoyed them, Moon. Okay, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to get money no not money we're gonna need to get experience and heal ourselves that way we can fight the rhino or should do it for vice uh, any recording card can, I can recommend actually yeah um, so the big ones that I, uh, I like, uh, I had some success with the Hopage line, but I also had some issues with the Hopage line. So, take that with a grain of salt, they're, uh, somewhat cheap. Like, when I bought it last, they were about 150 bucks. They're not too hard to find. Um, I know that Aver Media is supposed to be very good. Uh, that's what the Games Done Quick folks do. Uh, I was actually looking at the Aver Media folks. That's something I was actually going to do in, uh, potentially. And then I learned that Razor was coming out with something called the Razor Ripsaw. Um, and I, you know, I I'm a fan of Razor. A lot of the uh, computer accessories I have come from Razor. So I actually opted to go hunting down... Uh, the Ripsaw, which actually took me a while. I had to go actually find it. Uh, like, one Best Buy in the city had one. Online was going to take three weeks. Uh, again, about 160 bucks or so, somewhere around there. Um, nice. Uh, so, it was actually a little bit expensive. But, at the same time... Um, uh, it's worked extremely well for me. It takes uh, HDMI input. It also takes in um, uh, com uh, component input, which is what I'm running the Wii off of right now. So this is actually running off of the Ripsaw. Uh, I had no problem setting it up. Didn't have any problems getting it to read through. Uh, right now it's reading through XSplit. Uh, Bandicam, which is what I use for recording PC games, uh, also picks it up just fine. Uh, I haven't tested this functionality, but it is also uh, pretty darn good for, um, like, putting voice directly through it. So, you can do that, too. Uh, I'm, I record directly off my PC, so I can uh, get my um, I can voice through there. Yeah, the Razor Ripsaw, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, Vice should be getting Sakri right now, which is excellent. Uh, let How long?
That's what I need. That's all I need either. That's what I need. Okay. Oh. Ugh. That's, uh, that's not good. Um. So yeah, PS2 should be just fine uh, as long as you can get a component output for it. But PS2 does put out a component. Uh, your 360 will go directly through HDMI as long as you have an HDMI output. Uh, 3DS, on the other hand, I don't know how 3DS works on that. I know that you have to get your 3DS kind of custom set up for uh, recording. And I have not gone about doing that. Uh, right now, I kind of don't intend to. Maybe if I can get a 3DS on the cheap and then find someone who will do it for me. But also, there's only like five games in the 3DS I can actually think about. Why did I not switch to red? I am lit dumb. Okay, uh, we are not going to grind out red, I've decided. Having ink having Ingram would be amazing, but... We'll grind out red for the... I forget what his name is. Sanctuary Guardian, whatever his name is. Because this is just taking... This is going to take way too long. It's going to be nine fights. Yeah. I mean, the armor design is a little bit uninspired. But remember... The Valuan soldiers are not supposed to be particularly threatening at this level. No, we're killing them in one hit, and this I was killing them one hit at level one. So I Valuan soldiers are not particularly threatening in the first place. Uh there are a small handful of Valuan soldiers which can be threatening at some point. Hey Seth. You'll never get me through this door. I've locked it. You'll never get to me now. Oh, you know what? I can think of at least one sham I might have to look up. I don't think there's any way I'm going to remember how to do the uh, Solthus sham. That one's kind of a pain in the ass. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so the uh, the good news is that because of this new job, um, I'm, uh, like, I get all, all my weekends will consistently be off, um, and I'm consistently off duty at 5 p.m. my time, which means that because it's more of a steady schedule, I might actually start being able to do a streaming schedule. I actually have a list of games I would like to stream. And if I can get my streaming schedule up, that means I can kind of get YouTube back up to two videos a day, which would be nice. Uh, do stuff live on you know, Twitch and then pour it over to YouTube for the most part. Will I ever do Final Fantasy X-2? I don't know. Um, I've thought about it, but... I don't know. There's kind of a lot of other games I would kind of rather do. Antonio! Attack! I actually have... I have a list of games that I, that I want to... Uh, that I want to play that's actually getting longer by the month. Ow. Plus side, we get my favorite song in a minute. Oh, don't do this to me. 
now. Dunning just what you gotta remember though, Antonio is a pushover, okay? Like, that's really important to remember. He is the You actually can game over to him. I think I almost gave over to him much once. But um he is a pretty weak boss. Well, you do fight him twice. Okay, Antonio. Enough of your bullshit. I want my favorite song. Thank you! There's my favorite song. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose my favorite song. No? No, we didn't lose my favorite song. He has not enough damage. Get wrecked, Antonio. Uh, he is a tutorial boss, but the problem with Antonio is actually that specific att thunder attack he does. It's actually, it's the first AoE attack in the game. And the problem is, is that you have no control over where your guys run. So if Vice and Aka just so happen to run right next to each other, and Antonio decides that he's going to be a jerk and use uh, Thunder of Fury multiple times, you actually can get, uh, you can lose the game because of it, because he will do way too much damage way too fast. And if you're a player who doesn't know the game, <laughs> if you're a player who doesn't know the game particularly well, it's very likely that you didn't get the chests, uh, you didn't get Sakri, you didn't grind at all. So you actually could end up losing way too much health way too fast. So it absolutely is possible that Antonio could kill you. We'll have Ingram by the time we hit Antonio too, though. So it should be... I mean, Saf, you have no idea how many times I've played through this game. If you even start describing Antonio, I'll know exactly what you're doing. And I'll know exactly what he can do, too. It's a right... It's Antonio. Moon, if you liked, uh... If you liked the gameplay elements of, uh guys of Arcadia, you might want to go look into Evolution. I, I was able to do that one with Mako, and uh, it has some similarities to Skies, but also has a very um, kind of a different feel to it. <laughs> Evolution. Put it on my channel. I did a let's play of it. I actually intend to, uh... I intend to do Evolution 2 at some point, but I need to get a compos or a component uh, output for my Dreamcast. Also, I successfully did the first uh, Swashbuckler! Woohoo! We got the first Swashbuckler answer correctly! We're blue rogues. We're not like these other pirates. You can trust us, really. We're good pirates. We're the Robin Hoods of pirates. Trust us. Believe it or not, Yugi, I really haven't had a chance. Um, for a variety of reasons. Uh... Technically, I could play them right now, but I actually want to stream something. I mean, keep in mind, my, uh... My, basically, Christmas present from my old job was, Hi, we're closing your store in a month. Then I was kind of panicking for a month about it. Then I was depressed for three weeks about losing my job. And then, um... Ash, three weeks, uh... the past three weeks uh training so not a, it's not a good reason not having played them yet but i have them installed i 
Probably have. sure that is the only discovery that I can get right now. Pretty sure at least. Hey, combat. Once again, we could grind a little bit, but... Um, kind of not worth it. Also, these guys are strong against red. That's not good. That was kind of a waste. Fine. Like, I could go green against these guys, but I want the red experience. This is what we're going to do. We're going to green that guy, and we're going to red that guy. So hopefully we'll kill one and not kill the other, which will allow me to switch Vice back to red. How are you still alive? Yeah, we're we're not gonna grind. We'll uh if, if I need to, I'll I'll grind in the shrine a little bit. Oh, there's three guys. <laughs> Dumb me, I didn't realize there were three of them. Don't ask me how I missed that. Yeah, this is uh this is one of the two RPGs I was considering playing. Uh the other one will happen basically after this is the plan. The zombie omenites. Uh so this is just an enemy type. Nothing nothing special about them. Really? That only did 38 damage? I mean, I know we're red right now, but that only did 38 damage? Are you kidding me? That was Cutlass Fury! Here. Here goes. So yeah, just, uh, Saf, we're in what's considered to be basically the overworld of Skies of Arcadia. And, um... The overworld has random encounters, and generally I find the overworld random encounters to be harder than the, than the dungeon random encounters. That wasn't so bad. But the big deal with these guys, the reason they took so long, is that uh, Skies of Arcadia incorporates an element system. And uh, every enemy, for the most part, has an... Uh, actually, every enemy has an element. And uh, of the, I think, six elements, five of them, you know, are rock, paper, scissors against each other. Uh, one of them stands alone and has no weakness. Uh, and it just so happens that those guys are strong against the red element, which is what I was using, and weak against the green element, which is the element I chose not to use. But the way Skies of Arcadia works, there is standard experience and magic experience. Uh, standard experience is what you use to level up as normal. It's just kind of regular experience, level up, the whole shebang. Magic experience is a little bit different. Magic experience, depending on different rules, basically, uh, every time you beat a battle, you get, uh, I believe it's one magic experience. Uh, sorry. You get base magic experience plus base magic experience times however party members you have so right now magic experience base is one and we have two party members 
So for fighting uh, fighting that battle, I got one magic experience base plus two magic experience bonus, making three magic experience total. So I want red magic experience because it leads to a spell called Inkrum, which is a uh, attack and defense buff, uh, which is incredibly broken in this game. It's one of the most powerful spells in the game. Uh, I will use it in every single boss battle, and actually in some non-boss battles. Uh, I want Inkrum as fast as possible, so I kind of need to grind red as fast as possible. Once I have my uh, first level heal, which I already have, and once I have Inkrum, uh, we're pretty much good for the first third of the game. But yeah, because those guys were strong against red, and because I was trying to get red experience, the fight just took a little bit longer than I would have And god damn it, why don't I have the moonfish lens and the cham? I better find chams right now. That would be so nice. I could knock both of those out right now. Life would be beautiful. Okay. We need to not do the thing I did last Let's Play and forget to get better gear while I'm here. Hey, look, stuff. Building one of those eggplant head helmets. It certainly looks challenging. Uh, yeah. I don't remember how long my last Let's Play lasted. sitting here in cutscene land. That's what I want. Okay. Um, we need to go this way. This is not done alphabetically anymore. God damn it, YouTube! Don't change. You change stuff on me too. Okay, let's see. So sixty-two. Wow. Original was sixty-five episodes. The re, -re uh, redone was sixty-two. Not where I want to be. I was trying to go to the shop. That's a different door. Interesting is, Loqua is their way of not having alcohol in here, but it's definitely an alcohol uh, thing. And they recommend that we drink it. Oh. Is Loqua? You don't know what that is? Well, we don't either, and you won't describe it to us. No quite berries. So the question is, do I want... I forgot. We could be getting super moves right now. Uh, do I want counterattack or do I want get alpha storm? It's not the move I want right now, but it's okay. What we really want is Delta Shield, which I can't get until... They're quite literally getting stoned. No, you're not wrong. It's, it's a local with an L. And they are getting hammered. That's absolutely a thing. Okay, you. So we got weapon upgrades. 
don't want to drop my healing items. But if I remember correctly, the chest behind Dine's cabin, or Dine's uh, captain's room, has a money chest in it. So we'll check that, see if we can get some armor. Okay, let's see if I can remember which uh, response here is the swashbuckler response. Okay, we brought Fina. Quietly listen, that's the swashbuckler response. Okay. Huh? Okay, so storyline so far, there's actually very little of it. Fina was traveling alone. She gets attacked by the Empire. Uh, we um, kind of attack the Empire because it's just what we do. You know, for no reason. Uh, we attack the Empire. We save her. We bring her back. Uh, Dine uh, has us come. He tries to interrogate her. And uh, basically says to her that she's a danger to his crew because she's here and he doesn't know why the Empire wants her. Asks her to uh, tell her, tell him what's going on. She says no. And then he pauses and he goes, well, okay, apparently I lose this conversation. So literally, this slip of a girl tells a, a pirate captain... I'm not answering questions. Okay. I don't know why I asked. And then he makes it clear, we have a really strong sense of honor. We're not going to do anything stupid to you. I don't even think gold thought was more. Huh. Okay. Well, we could get, like, one thing of armor? I was hoping for more than that. As long as I can keep Vice going. Go and get some upgrades real quick, because if we don't now, we won't get a chance. Problem is with ah. Uh, I'm actually thinking what a speed run of this game would actually be like, especially if you tried to hundred percent it. episodes at roughly 30 minutes an episode, so that was still like 30 hours. I mean, that's not a, sh that's not a short thing, but at, like some of that was me grinding. Not a lot, though. I bet you if you skip through a lot of the dialogue, things go a lot faster. Talk to me.
Okay, now you talk to me. He is also. 